Chapter 3, Lesson 6 NS Strings NS strings are simply ordered groups of characters, more commonly known as text. This text is like the same as you'd make in a word processing document, except it's unformatted. NS strings are incredibly important to the app development process. NS strings store text, whether that's the name of your user, text that is being displayed on the screen, or the title at the top of a page. In Xcode, I'm going to create a new single view application. Once we've created our new single view application, I'm going to navigate to viewcontroller.m. In our at interface, I'm going to declare a new NS string. The way to go about doing this is by typing NS string, and then of course, with our asterisk, I'm just going to name this string and end that with a semicolon. Since NS strings are pieces of text, we can easily set them to the text we desire. For example, we can set the instance variable we've just declared string equal to this is a string and end that with an end quote and a semicolon. Now our NS string string holds the text this is a string. Let's display our new variable string in the NS log. To do this, we must type NS log open parenthesis at quote percent at end quote comma string. And of course, end that with an, a close parenthesis and a semicolon. The formatter percent at will allow us to format an NS string into our string. Let's see what we get when we run the project. Of course, in our NS log, we see this is a string. Because we've set this is a string equal to our NS string string. Formatting strings is rather easy. To demonstrate this, I'm going to create a new method. And I'm going to call it format string. And of course, start that by opening some curly brackets. I'm going to declare three new NS strings. I'm going to call the first one S1 for string 1 and set that equal to what and end that with a semicolon. I'm going to declare another NS string, you guessed it, S2, and I'm going to set that to is. I'm going to declare a third NS string, S3, and set that equal to at quotes, this, with a question mark at the end, and end that with a semicolon. Now I'm going to format these new strings. We can do this by typing ns string, and I'm going to start a new string called formatted string, and set that equal to open bracket ns string string with format and then I'm going to type our string. So of course we start that with an at quote but I'm going to type percent at space percent at space percent at space percent at and then end that with a quote. Now I'm going to hit comma. Now after this we can arrange our strings in any format we want. We've specified 4% ats, which means we can put strings in any order. Well, I have what as S1, is as S2, and this as S3. It would make sense if we put it in order of what is this. So what I'm going to do is type S1, comma, S2, comma, S3. So now we have what is this being displayed. Well, in our view did load, we declared our instance variable string as this is a string. So I'm going to hit comma and type string. I'm going to end that with a square bracket and then of course a semicolon. Now our formatted string which we've just declared should be what is this? This is a string. Our formatted string is composed of four strings S1, S2, S3, and string. Because we've composed our strings in this way, we should get, when put into the NS log, what is this? This is a string. Let's put this into the NS log quickly. 
So of course I'm going to type out nslog open parenthesis at quote percent at and then of course comma formatted string end parenthesis semicolon. Because this is a method, I'm going to call it in our view did load statement. So I'm going to type out self format string and that with a square bracket and a semicolon. Now, when we run our project, in our log, we'll see what is this. This is a string. That is how we format strings. We can also display numbers in our formatted strings. So I'm going to create a new method. And I'm going to call this method format int string and start that off with some curly brackets. I'm going to create a new ns string. I'm going to call it string2. I'm going to set string2 equal to what is 1 plus 1 and end that with a question mark and of course end that with a end quote and a semicolon. I'm doing, going to declare an int int number equals 2. Then I'm going to format these strings together. So of course we go ns string asterisk formatted string space equals space open square bracket ns string string with format and of course start that with at quotes. I'm going to do percent at and then space percent d and that with a quote and then enter a comma. I'm going to type in string two comma number and that with a square bracket and a semicolon. In our formatted string we entered percent at space percent d. We did this because we wanted to enter string two which is what is one plus one and then of course we want to answer it with our int. The int we've declared is number and we set number equal to 2 so how can we display int we use the formatter percent %d let's put this into the ns log and see what we get so of course i'm going to format ns log for the formatted string variable that we've declared two lines above it because this is a method i'm going to need to call it in our view did load so of course i want to do self format int string and square bracket semicolon. Now when we run this we should see what is 1 plus 1? 2. That is how you format strings along with ints. We can also easily make a string all uppercase. To do this I'm going to declare a new void. I'm going to name it make uppercase string and start that off with some curly brackets. So string equals open bracket string uppercase string and end that with a square bracket and a semicolon. What we're doing here is declaring our ns string we've declared in our at interface as the uppercase version of itself. To make the uppercase version we type uppercase string. Now to see the result I'm going to put that into the ns log. So I started off with some at quotes, percent at, end quotes, and string. And end that with a parenthesis and a semicolon. Because it's a method, I'm going to need to call it in our view did load. So we'll start that off with self, make uppercase string, and end that with a square bracket and a semicolon. Now we run our app, we should see this is a string in all uppercase. This is because in our view did load we declare string as this is a string. However down in make uppercase string we set our string equal to whatever the text was however in its uppercase format. We can do the exact same thing however instead of uppercase we can make it lowercase. So I'm going to declare a new method. I'm going to call this make lowercase string. I'm going to start that off with some curly brackets. So string space equals space open 
square bracket, string, lowercase string, and end it with a square bracket and a semicolon. And then of course, to view the result, I'm going to put it in our ns log. Because that is a method, I'm going to call it in our view did load. So I'm going to do self make lowercase string, and then with a square bracket and a semicolon. Now, when we run our app, in the ns log, we'll see in all lowercase, this is a string. In view did load, we set string equal to this is a string. Notice we have a capital T in the beginning of the sentence. That is not there in our log because we've made it a lowercase string using our method make lowercase string. We can also find out how many characters are in our string. I'm going to declare a new method to demonstrate this. I'm going to name it get length and start that off with some curly brackets. Getting the length is, is very easy. All we need to do is type string space length. To do this, I'm going to put that into an ns log. So ns log at quotes string length colon percent d end quote comma. Then I'm going to type open parenthesis int end parenthesis open square bracket string length close square bracket close parenthesis semicolon. Using string length will return an ns integer. To convert that to an int we'll use open parenthesis int close parenthesis. To display an integer as we've learned we use percent %d. So what we're simply doing here is creating a new integer string length and displaying it using percent %d. Because that is a method we're going to need to put that into our view did load. So I'm going to type open square bracket self get length and square bracket semicolon. Now when we run this we should see how long this is a string. In our log we'll see string length is 17. So this is a string with a period and including spaces is 17 characters long. We can also convert a string into a number such as an int. To demonstrate this, I'm going to start a new method. I'm going to call this int value of string and start that off with some curly brackets. I'm going to start a new ns string. So ns string star number space equals space at quotes. You can use any number. I'm just going to do 64. End quote semicolon. So now we have a string with text that simply says 64. It's not a number, and if we tried to add something to it, such as a 1 or a 2, we couldn't because it's text and not a number. I'm going to declare a new int. So int integer is just what I'm going to name it, space equals space, number, which is our string, and then int value, and square bracket semicolon. Because we've now made it an int and it's no longer an ns string, we can add stuff to it and do operations. So I'm just going to type integer plus plus and semicolon. I'm going to then log that in our ns log so we can see the result. So ns log at quotes percent d end quote comma integer and parenthesis semicolon. So what we've done here is create an ns string with text that is simply 64. We can convert that 64 into an integer using the name of our string and int value. Because it's an int, we can perform operations on it. So we take that new integer and add one to it by using plus plus. Because that is a method, we're going to need to call it in our view did load. So we can do self int value of string and square bracket semicolon. Let's see the result when we run the project. You'll notice in the ns log we get 65. Because we do have 64 in text, we convert that to an integer or a number 
and then we add 1 to it. If we were to add 1 to an NS string, we would obviously get an error because it's text and not a number. In this example, we used an int, but if you happen to have a float, double, or any sort of number like that, instead of int value, you'll want to use whatever kind of number you have. For example, if you had a double, you would use double value. If you have float, you would use float value. 